Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be going all the way back to Halo 1 again. Although on Halo Anniversary with a little modern uh, mix or twist, I guess. Um, but we're going to be going all the way back to Halo 1 to take a look at a little secret room hidden on the mission to Betrayals. So, to find this secret room, well, it's uh, there's a few steps you're going to do. But... It's basically right around this part of the mission where you need to get to the second phase pulse generator uh, and then we gotta blow it up. And at this point you're supposed to get into a banshee and then you fly up all the way to uh, the top of this little hill here. So what you normally do is you go forward and you go to the waypoint naturally. And let me just show you what the inside of the room looks like just uh, because it, it'll help you uh, have an idea for when I show you the secret room later. But this is what you normally do. You normally go into this room, and then once inside, well, there'll be a lot of flood, but there's a uh, phase pulse generator in the middle that you're supposed to walk into, which will disable your shields, but it will blow it up, and you need to quickly get out before the flood swarm you. Uh, and then, yeah, that's basically it. And that's what this room looks like, so just keep this room in your mind. It's, uh, it's fairly important, I guess. <laughs> but, um... Let's uh, let's go back outside. And while we're on the way out, as promised, there are, there will be more puns. <laughs> so I I bought a new pair of gloves today, but it turns out both of them are left ones. Which on the one hand it's great, but on the other hand it's just not right. All right. Anyway, so instead of going to that room, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna fly to this room, this door instead, on the opposite end of uh, that mountain. Now, as you can see, the door is locked, but we all know that um, there's a lot of tools on Halo PC and Halo Xbox that can let us get past locked doors. So we're just going to fly right through this locked door here using no clip. Which um, on Halo Anniversary you do need a modded Xbox, but on the PC version that's trivial. You know, there's so many tools out there for the PC version to do this. Uh, you can even use the built-in console commands and stuff like that if you want. But let's take a look in here. So as you saw, we did hit a load zone actually, and it did load a lot of stuff in. Which is pretty interesting, actually. Uh, there was some kind of loading trigger there. But, anyways, let's take a look around the room. So, this is uh, it's a fairly standard, generic room from Two Betrayals. It's, uh, I, I've said in previous videos, this map is like a maze. And, I mean, like the whole mission is like a maze. And there's a lot of rooms that kind of look like this, look very similar to this, and you gotta find your way around and stuff. Um, so, this is pretty much just one of those rooms so far. Uh, it's pretty standard, and this is what it looks like in classic mode briefly. You know, it's, I think there was like one video a while ago, very, a long time ago, showing this in classic graphics. Uh, but I couldn't find any more, so I'm, I'm not sure, unless I was imagining it. But either way, that's why I'm doing this in anniversary graphics, so we can see what it looks like in anniversary, of course. Cause sometimes things aren't always the same in anniversary, and vice versa. But anyways, uh, there is another hallway here, so this room, there's more to it. In this room here the next room there's actually a face pulse generator in here however even though like the lights are glowing and everything on top it's well lit the face pulse generator itself is offline and if you step into it, it doesn't do anything and of course in classic mode it's actually like even darker it's like completely the whole room is like almost the whole room is like shut down and stuff it's just not powered up but it's, it's a lot brighter in anniversary mode, and you can even see like the lighting pulsing, which is not supposed to be that case. I, th I think like once you destroy the face pulse generator, it's not supposed to keep pulsing. I'm not sure though, but either way, it's it's pulsing as if it's still active and still glowing, um, which is different compared to classic mode. But that's the only discrepancy, I guess. Uh, but that's about it for this room. The rest of it, it's just the uh, just the corridors. Um, but yeah, so. That's uh, this. It's nothing else to this face pulse generator, uh, generator really. But what what really interests me about this room is that I think it's um, I'm not sure there's like an actual like explanation out there for it, but I think this room is like s some kind of prototype room, or uh, like you know they maybe like at one point Bungie was planning to have another face pulse generator here that you're supposed to get into and destroy as well. You're supposed to knock out both here and then move on to the next one or something, but they ended up scrapping maybe this part of the mission, but they they, uh, they already finished the room and everything, so I guess they just left it here. But as you can see, the load zone and everything there is still intact, and it's still, like, you know, think everything still functions in this room correctly, 
which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all there is to this room. And as we head back out now, got one more pun for you guys before we end this video. <laughs> so I was addicted to the Hokey Pokey uh, a while ago, but thankfully I've turned myself around since then. <laughs> uh, but anyways, <laughs> I guess uh, that sums it up for that room. Uh, it's not, you know, like a huge uh, thing, but it is pretty interesting, and I think it does uh, show us a little bit of, like, Halo history, and, um, you know, maybe at one point what could have been, you know, another face post generator to take down, uh, but thankfully we only have three to take down instead of four. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, you know, leave your thoughts in comments, just anything else you want me to check out, or, you know, some other things behind locked doors you want me to take a look at, just let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.